thought I'd give you guys a change of scenery. Me and Happy Light here. I'm just keeping an eye on things. Um, let's talk about tinfoil hat Bravo Sierra. The people who spread this stuff, they claim to be alternate media, but a lot of them are what I call Pied Pipers, ready to lead a bunch of rats behind them that are willing to pay nineteen ninety-five to 50 bucks to be one of their Patreons or subscribe to their newsletter because only they know the truth and they're willing to sell it to you because they're so patriotic and wanting to save America. <clears throat> there was this one guy, I'm just going to say his name, and it's only liable or slander if it's not true. What I'm saying is 100% true. There's this guy in the conspiracy mill. His name is Stephen Quayle. Oh, where to start? A few years ago, he made a claim about a FEMA camp being built around Kosciuszko, Mississippi. What he didn't understand was there were active Patriot cells in the state of Mississippi, and there still are. And there are even a few guys in the Mississippi militia that want to do more than dress up and do some bench rest shooting. Imagine that. Well, we got in contact with that crowd. And we went down to Kosciuszko and the county around it. And we took the following measures. Because the claim by Mr. Quayle was uh, the federal government, FEMA was there, I believe, and they had acquired a bunch of farming equipment and a bunch of land around there. And they were building a big concentration camp. So we went to go fact check Mr. Quayle. We took the following measures. Uh, we took several different scanners and some of the old style ones. You know what I'm talking about. And even if their communications were encrypted, it would still radiate a signal out into space or some kind. If they're using a VHF or UHF radio, we should have been able to detect something. We detected nothing. We drove down every road in that county. We went everywhere. We made a weekend of it. We found absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Now, there was one building in the town of Kosciuszko that got repurposed for some government activity. But unless you're going to have a concentration camp that can hold maybe 10 people, it's not a concentration camp. And we talked to some of the locals there, and some of the locals went, yeah, you're not the first people to come down here and look for this. So, one night, I'm doing about what you're seeing now, and I don't particularly like coast-to-coast -coast AM. I used to like it when Art Bell was on and it was mostly political, but after it became the Flying Saucer tinfoil hat show, I lost interest in it. And that night, I just happened to tune in out of boredom and discovered Stephen Quayle was the guest. So there should be a recording of this show somewhere, and I called in and asked Mr. Quayle about it. And he, I asked him, how do you vet your information? He goes, well, I have reliable militia contacts in the state of Mississippi, and they vetted it. And I'm like, oh, really? Hmm. Funny, at that time, I was kind of participating in the Mississippi militia. I, I never spoke to Mr. Quayle. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Then I told him exactly what had happened, and he changed his story quickly on live radio, saying the base may have been hidden by a cloaking device. And then I wasn't allowed to talk to him anymore. You go figure. And so before y'all listen to these people on YouTube and wherever else, and or Barney the Nugget Ranger, 
uh, I'm not going to come out and say his name, or you listen to any of these people, just remember, when they come to you with the truth or whatever, find out how much it's going to cost you first, and I am me, I might tell you for free. But anyway, y'all have a good night, and that's my tinfoil hat story for the day.